Hello, this is David Harper of Bionic Turtle. I'd like to quickly look at one of the difficult learning objectives coming out of the Bruce Tuckman Bond readings. The learning objective asks us to discuss the effect maturity has on the price of a bond. So in order to do that, I need to assume a spot rate curve. So this is what I'm going to assume here. It's upward sloping. This says that the six month spot rate is 3% the one year spot rate is 4% and so on. Recall an important idea with bonds and yield curves is that a spot rate curve contains within it implicitly a forward rate curve. A forward rate is a rate that applies in the future. So for example, there's a six month forward rate here that starts at one year and goes to 18 months. There's another six month forward rate starting here at 18 months that goes to two years. Given the spot rate curve, I can calculate out, figure out what the implied forward rates are. Okay, so that's my assumption. And now what I want to do to answer the learning objective by Bruce Tuckman is I'm going to take a bond here with a face value of 100 and a 6% coupon. And then I'm going to start with a six month maturity, that's 0.5 years, and then, and then extend that maturity out to one year, to one and a half years, to two years, to two and a half years. In all cases, the coupon remains 6%. So I have five bonds, they all have a 6% coupon, and here's the cash flow pattern. Here's the bond that matures in six months. It has it delivers a single cash flow in six months. That's 103 because the principal of 100 plus the coupon which is three dollars or half of six dollars because it's a semi-annual coupon. Then my second bond here now just takes that and extends the maturity one year. And so there are two cash flows for this bond, a coupon in six months three dollars is one half of six dollars which is six percent of the par and then I'm gonna get another coupon and the return of the par or principal so in each case I now extend the bond and finally I have here the fifth bond which has a maturity of two and a half years one two three four coupons and a final cash flow of principal of a hundred and a final coupon. Below that then I've discounted those future cash flows to the pre their present values. Using that spot rate curve that I showed you, I'm not going to go into those calculations here but it's not hard. We can just multiply by a discount factor. If I present value each of the cash flows then I can price the bond the price of the bond is just the sum of the present value of all the cash flows. So my first bond has a price of $101.47 and change. That's the price of my first bond. Notice it's above par of 100 and we expect that because the coupon is 6% but my spot rate was less than 6%. When the coupon is higher than the yield the price is going to be higher than par. We have to pay up for that bond in order to get a in order to offset the higher coupon. Okay, so now we get to the aim which was discuss the effect maturity has on the price of the bond. So now let's extend the maturity from six months to one year. So we go from this price to this price and it's an increase in the price. Notice as I go from one year to 18 months, another increase, and then from 18 months to two years, now we decrease. And then from two years to two and a half years, it's a decrease. So I deliberately set this up just to show you it's an increase and then a decrease peaking here. Why is that? Well, the key is, and what Tuckman says, is that the price will increase with maturity whenever the coupon rate exceeds the forward rate over the period of the maturity extension. So that sounds like a lot, but let's go back here to the six-month example. And 
what is the given that I set up the spot rates it happens to be that the forward rate going from the six month forward rate that starts at six months is five percent and change now according to Tuckman if my coupon is great which is six percent is greater than the forward rate that applies over that extension and that's the case here my coupon is six the forward the matching forward rate happens to be only five percent or less according to Tuckman an extension in the maturity will increase the price of the bond and that's what happens now I'm at one year going to 18 months the corresponding forward rate just happens to be five and a half percent it's less than the coupon so an extension in the maturity again increases the price now we go from 18 months to two years the corresponding forward rate happens to be six and a half percent remember my spot rate curve was deliberately upward sloping now I'm extending the bond into a forward rate six and a half percent that is greater than the coupon rate according to Tuckman my price is going to de decline that's what happened and again finally from two years to two and a half years upward sloping spot rate curve implies upward sloping forward rate curve my forward rate is fully seven point six percent that's greater than my coupon the extension of the bond is going to decrease the price so in each case what happens to the price is a function of these forward rates these six month forward rates and yet another this is yet another case of why it's important to understand if I go back up here that the spot rate curve which is a very intuitive thing to us contains within it implicitly a forward rate curve in this case a set of six month forward rates this is David Harper, The Bionic Turtle. Thanks for your time.